I'm Belinda Sunshine. This episode of When We Were Young is sponsored by Blue Crystal Aquarium, the one-stop service for fishes and aquarium servicing. And it's also the leading arowana breeder in Singapore. For more information, click on the link in the description box below. Here today in our studio, we have someone very special for when we were young. He came from a very, very exciting band known as WUB, or shall I say it, Western Union Band. In 1971, a 23-year-old Abel Gunn puts up an ad for a new band in the newspapers. Guitarist Chris Vadim, bassist Tony Chong and drummer Shedik Marikan will eventually be selected to be part of the new band. They call themselves the Western Union Band. This name was so unique that at that time, some people didn't realize it was a Singaporean band. The band is off to a great start, releasing four singles in that same year with Libra record label. In the same year, they gained massive recognition for opening the show for the Bee Gees when the Australian group came to perform at the River Valley National Theatre. The next year, their song, I Found My Freedom, reached number 8 on Singapore's Top 10. August of that year, their other hit song, Sausalito, was number one on Singapore and Malaysian charts. Sausalito had a brief run on Billboard's top. 100 chart. However, in the early 80s, the band's popularity declined in favour of new pop stars like Prince and Michael Jackson. And by 1981, the band members had gone separate ways. In 2007, after his fight with liver cancer, Chris Vardam passed away in London. Today, even though the band is no more, we cannot deny the influence they once had on the local music scene, and they will forever live on in our memories. You know, for every musician, music is always in their lifeblood. So now I'd like to put my hands together and welcome the incomparable Abel Gunn. <laughs> Hi, Abel. Hi. Wow, so great you know, to have you. Come, take a seat. And I'm going to have a chat with you, find out what you've been doing all these <laughs> years. You know, I've been a great fan of the Western Union band, WUB, right? And I love the music that you all played long, long ago when you had the original band number called what? Uh, Rubber Band. Correct. Correct? Never mind. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about, about Rubber Band. But right now, no, perhaps you'd like to share with us a little bit more, you know, about you going into music. Well, I go into music because my father came me. Because my elder brother Sam. So I got no choice. Oh, okay. So I end up playing music my life. Mm -hmm. And I never regretted it. I see. I know. Sam is still playing on the Ivy 
Yeah. He wants to. Yeah. Okay. And you know, uh, why must you change the band name? You know. Okay, because locally all the band's name sounds not international, mm-hmm. right? They have the name, but they don't have the word band. Oh, but what's wrong with rubber band? No, I change because <laughs> why? I want something sound American. Uh-huh. So that's why my uniform uh-huh. is the railroad. Okay. Okay. So okay. I call it Western Union Band, and nobody knows who's Western Union Band until the BJs came on seventy one, when I opened the act for them. I see. Yeah, you're right. You know, because many people nowadays always associate Western Union to be with the remittance agent. You know, where yeah. you can pay your money or whatever. <laughs> But it's a very unique name, I would say. You yeah. know, is that the reason why you chose it? Yeah, something Because, different, mm-hmm. really different. People mind changes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now you talk about this very big break for you and the band. It's because when the Bee Gees came by in 1971. Yeah, at the National and, Stadium. Yes, and you were the opening act for them. Correct. Now at that time already you were very well known, you know. Western Union Band was very well known. Yeah, but they don't know who we. Uh huh. The members are. Mm-hmm. But were you people very nervous when you have to be the opening act for no. the BGs? No. No. Oh, because you were already yeah yeah already right. <laughs> no, not that. You know because we know our music is good. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Would you like to talk about that period? You know when you met the BGs and after the BGs. What happened after the BGs? We were offered a recording uh, contract with EMI, okay. and we did two albums with EMI. That's where we travel all around Asia: mm-hmm. Malaysia, Thailand, Taiwan, uh, Hong Kong, Korea. Mm-hmm. Right? We had a good time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Then okay. I disbanded the band when Michael Jackson came in in 1980s. Uh huh. I see. That's why we stop hearing about WUB. Correct. <laughs> okay. Now I want to get you back again. You know, on the night when you're performing, you know,、uh, as the opening act for the Bee Gees, how do you feel and how do the audience、oh, felt that time? Well, the audience, they got shocked. They said, "Why these four monkeys on stage?" <laughs> okay. Right. In their、monkeys. mind, they think the the band is from America. Okay. Right. But we feel good because why? Right to play the opening act for Bee Gees,、mm-hmm. right? There、mm-hmm. is something not many people have the chance to do it.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see. Yeah, this is what I wanted to find out from you. You know, I mean, how you people felt that night itself. Okay, good. Now you were also talking about, you know, I mean, having performed in Hong Kong and elsewhere, but I think in Hong Kong you did the second album. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah the second album. I think album. you you had the album produced by the late Jap Chong. Yeah, in Hong Kong.、Mm-hmm. In Singapore, the first album is by Reggie Burgess. Okay. Yeah. And those two albums were really sellouts. Correct. Okay, but how would you describe your kind of music? How would a person associate Western Union kind of music? I know that you all started off with、uh, your bubble. Band, band, right? And your music that time was very swamp rock, right? Yeah. CCR. Yeah. Creedence Clearwater yeah, Revival. Yeah, we are Singapore Creedence Clearwater. That's right. So, did you continue with that kind of genre? No, I pick all the songs from、uh, US top ten, okay, top twenty. I pick the number six song and play it.、Mm-hmm. So when it comes to number one, right?、Mm-hmm. I already played the song. So all the other bands actually follow Western Union band.、Mm, I see, I see. So you did a lot of cover versions too. Yes, correct.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. But why? Because I know you no, write a lot. No, but the cover、lot. versions we do is the different arrangement. Okay. Yeah, the melody is there, like "Stand by Me." If you listen to "Stand by Me,"、mm-hmm. it's done differently from the original "Stand by Me," "Living Next Door to Alice,"、yes. and all that. Okay. So well, I I like the boys and myself to play something what we can feel,、mm-hmm. right?、Mm-hmm. Copy versions you play exactly you don't have the feel、right. anybody can do it.、Mm-hmm. The punch、okay. is not there. 
Okay, you gave a twist to it, yeah, so right. to speak, correct? Right? All right, now, I admire the boys in your group because, you see, uh, you really make use of the multiracial you know, element right. uh, in Singapore. You know, you had Chris, yeah. then you had uh, yourself, and then you have, uh, what's his name? Siddiq. Siddiq. And Tony. Tony, yeah. yeah. I mean, is there a reason why? Yes, because when I started the group, I made up my mind to have four different races. Okay. No two races in my band, right? Because if the Beatles can make music with four of them, mm -hmm. we can do it. Mm -hmm. So I find four different races, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Represent Singapore. Uh -huh. Yeah. But among the musicians, you no know, any problems that sort of like crop up? No, uh, I tell them, look, you're working for me. I'm the founder, right? If you're not happy with the other member, you talk to me. You don't have to leave because I decide whether to keep you or to keep him. So they say, okay, so they all actually listen to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Easier, like a company. You don't join a company and tell the boss, no, I don't like the way you do things. <laughs> I know, I know. Having a band actually is very challenging. You yes, know? yes. It's and I guess the peak of the period, you know, when WUB became so famous was when you were in Hong Kong. And you even had that well-known uh, Cantonese... George Lam. Yes, singer, you know, with yeah. you. you I, know? I asked George to join us and I called uh, uh -huh. George Lam and the Western Union Band because mm. I want to get in the EYT show, you know, Hong Kong Hong famous. Kong famous. Yeah. That's only for the locals. That's right. So if I want the locals to support me, I have to be in the TV, in the mm. show. So he brought us in and then I, I make a program like which is Asia's Elton John, because they both sound Elton John. Mm. So in the end, they all chose Chris, my guitarist. Oh. Yeah, so, you know, but the band backed both of them. So we all appear on TV. Okay, that was Enjoy Yourself Tonight. tonight. Yeah. Yes, Hong Kong. Hong was Kong, very yeah. famous. Very famous. Yes, yeah. well, ask anybody, even today, they'll know who yeah. it is. Yeah, I think it was produced by Robert Chua. Correct. Yeah, who yeah. used to be a producer working with us here in Singapore too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. So yeah. cool. Now, I want to ask you, you know, this famous number one hit which really hit the charts both in Malaysia and also Singapore. And mind you, it went up on Billboard's chart at the same time. And I'm talking about the Evergreen song. Talking about people looking forward to going home and the hustle and bustle of city life. You know, yeah. what am I talking about? What am I talking about? It's talking about the song Sasolito. Yeah, you're right. Up to today, when I walk on the mm -hmm. street, or I sit in the cram, or I go to shop, when I sit, Western Union Band, I'm the founder, they take photo with me. Mm -hmm. Then they sing the song for me, up so to so today. Little. Would you like yeah. to hum it now? Once upon a time, I was in New York City. Trying to make some money, money. there. Yeah. <laughs> cool, yeah. Now, I think But so I haven't been playing the song for 50 years. Why? Because it brings back memories. Because the boys are very close to me. Okay. So I refuse to play. When they, my, my guest hears me play, I say, can you do such a solo? I say, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, memories... Mm. can bring a lot of things back, so I refuse to sing. Mm. What is it that you feel so much about it? Because I started the band, I go through with a lot of them. They're all very close to me, up to today, whoever is around. Huh, they always call me, talk to me. Yeah. I see. I know. You must have missed Chris a lot yeah. when he passed on. Correct. Because I think you wanted some reunion again yeah. with the group. Yeah. Yeah. So at that time, you know, when you heard about his problem, you know, how do you feel? Well, I just have to pray for him. Everybody has to go one day. So I just pray for him. Up to today, I think of him. Mm. Yeah. He was such a good, good singer. He's a very good singer. And singer. Yeah. yeah. And I think his brothers also. Yes, after his that brothers. Became, yeah, yeah. Correct. But have you ever thought of like getting his brother to join the band after he passed? No, no, no. Because never... Western Union Band will never be the same. If I ever form a band, it's going to be Abel Gunn and Friends. Something different. Mm -mm. You know, different kind of music. More for the senior citizen. 
Okay. So that's, okay. that's where okay. my era is. Okay. Right? So if I'm going to play today's day, update music, the senior citizen don't understand. Mm. They will not appreciate. So I'm going to, if I do it, I will do it for the senior citizen who are my fans. Like me? Yeah. And you out there? <laughs> like <correct>? me. Like <laughs> me. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think so. I think we should. Yeah. After all, music never dies, no matter how old you are. That's yeah, how I yeah. feel. Because yeah. I've interviewed people who are now in their 80s. Yeah. And they're still strumming away, playing the yeah. keyboard and what have you. Yeah, correct. Yeah. I know, you know, during the time when uh, you were so popular, that it was really challenging is because the way people perform is very different from the way they perform today. Correct. Okay. Correct. Would you like to share with us maybe for the people, the younger musicians, you know, how they felt? Well, they just play because they play. Okay. They don't sing from the heart. Okay. They copy exactly what they hear from the radio. Right? Because I heard some buskers, some busking and all that. I, I hear some in, in the lounges. There's no feel. When you don't have feel, you cannot play music. No mm -hmm. way. It mm -hmm. doesn't project the song. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Abel Gunn, looking forward, you know, what are you going to do or what have you got to share with us where music is concerned? Because I know that is your biggest passion. I'm doing a band called Abel Gunn and Friends. Right? And I think... You all should come and listen to this band. It's a really rehearsed band, right? Doing all the 70 songs. Yeah, and I hope that the crowd will support this band. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's really very sweet of you to come all the way to our studio oh, and sharing I'm with most us. Welcome, you know? yeah. yeah. And we are really very grateful to Western Union Band. So I'm going to ask him to play something for us. Are you game for it? Are you game for it? Of course. Okay, what's it gonna be? Yeah, you are the sunshine of my life. Wow, I'm happy. I'm the sunshine of his life. <laughs> Abel Gunn from the Western Union Band. You are the sunshine of my life That's why I'll always be around You are the apple of my eye Forever you'll stay in my heart I feel like is the beginning Though I have loved you for a million years And if I thought our love was ending I find myself growing in my own tears whoa, 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 whoa. You are the sunshine of my life That's where I'll always be around You are the apple of my eye Forever you stay in my heart Lonely because you came to my rescue, and I know that this must be heaven. How could so much love be inside of you? Whoa, 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 whoa. you are the sunshine of my life. 
That's where I'll always be around You are the apple of my eye Forever you'll stay in my heart Forever you'll stay in my heart friend Abel. Wow, I really enjoyed it. So, I am the sunshine of your life yeah. or your love. Which yeah. is which one is it? Your life or just your love? Sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you enjoyed you know, this beautiful musical interlude by Abel. And don't forget also to continue watching us on this channel. All you have to do is just subscribe. And until next week, when I return with yet another episode of When We Were Young, I'm Belinda Sunshine, and he is... Abel Gunn. Saying... Bye-bye. Goodbye.